Are you confused about the base settings in your AV receiver? That's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Hey folks, I'm Gene Delasala with Audioholics, and I want to talk to you about bass. Bass is the best thing that an audioholic can really appreciate, and we want to make sure you guys get that right. So I've been seeing a lot of questions on the forums about how to set the bass and their receivers, what the LFE plus main setting does, and I want to go over that stuff. I want to demystify some of that for you, clear things up, and make sure that you have the right settings in your AVR so you get the best bass possible, whether you're listening to two-channel music or you're listening to multi-channel music or you're watching a movie. So for the majority of, of enthusiasts, I would recommend to you that you should have all your speakers set small and have multiple subwoofers strategically placed in your room to get the best bass possible for every seat. It's the easiest way to set up a home theater system. But I know there's people like me that love to run full range towers, really full range towers, like this tower I have back here from uh, Revel here. Um, it's great to have a tower that has full range, good bass, but then you also want to take make use of your subwoofers you have in the system. So in pretty much every instance of an AV receiver today, if you set your main speakers to large, you will not get subwoofer output in two-channel music. The subwoofer will not engage when you're listening to two-channel music if you have your main speaker set to large, unless you use a very specific setting in your AVR that will enable that feature. So with Denon and Marantz receivers, I use those examples a lot because I own them. There's a setting called LFE plus main, and you can see that here, LFE plus main. Now, if you engage LFE plus main, what that does is it copies the bass from the main channels, which are large, into the subwoofer channel. So you'll have the same bass going from your main speakers to the subwoofer, but it'll be a mono mix to the sub. Now, a lot of people think this LFE plus main setting also copies LFE to the main channels. It does not. There's no way possible with any modern AV receiver today that you could route LFE to the main channels unless you turn the subwoofer channel completely off. And I don't recommend that because most speakers can't handle that much bass. Unless you've got a really hulking tower with lots of 12s or, or just big excursion drivers, you don't want to do that. So the LFE plus main setting, again, just to be clear, it does not route LFE to the main channels unless you turn the subwoofer channel off. All it's doing is copying the bass from the main channels into your subwoofer so it'll allow you to have your subwoofer and your main speakers playing bass at the same time for two-channel music. Now, I wanted to show you, in some cases, people would might want to set all their speakers small when they're doing home theater and have the subwoofers going, um, but they might want to have separate two-channel playback. Maybe you want to have a lower crossover for your uh, subwoofer for two-channel. You can go and do that on some of these receivers where they have a two-channel advanced setup, and you see here you have a manual setup. You can either set the speakers to large or small, then you can have the subwoofer engaged. So those are very specific cases, but I did want to talk to you about um, when people often have towers, they like to lower the crossover from the towers to the sub. I don't think that's usually a good idea. Here's why. If you set your front speakers to 40 hertz and you set everything else to 80 hertz, when you listen to two-channel music, those subwoofers are not going to engage above 40 hertz. They're going to roll off because the base management is based on what your two channel setting is. So as you guys know, if you want to take full advantage of multi-sub, have sub strategically placed in a room to get good uniform base from 20 hertz all the way to 80 hertz, you can't do that if you lower the crossover of the main channels because those subs will be filtered above that crossover point. So I really do recommend an 80 hertz setting in most cases even for two channel, even when you have large towers. But you do have to be careful because when you do run your towers large and you have a subwoofer engaged, you're gonna get some overlapping frequencies. It's called double bass and you might get too much bass in those overlapping frequencies. And that's when you need to use parametric EQ 
or you need to have some advanced base routing that goes beyond the scope of this video that you get in some of the higher end processors like the Storm Audio that I'm currently reviewing. So I just wanted to clear that up for you guys. If you're running large speakers and you don't have subwoofer output, you got to use the LFE plus main setting. Um, in Yamaha, they have the same thing. It's called extra bass. All the different receiver manufacturers have different ways of calling it. You just have to look at the user manual to figure it out. But to be very clear, you're not routing LFE to the main channels in any circumstance unless you turn the subwoofer channel off. That's not something I recommend for 99% of people out there, but it's just something I wanted to give you that information about. So I hope you found this video useful. Please give me some comments down below on what you're doing with your base management. If you're running subwoofers with large towers or if you're doing everything small, like we always recommend for beginners. Um, don't forget about our Patreon channel at patreon.com slash audioholics. We appreciate the support you give us to continue to produce new content and um, suggest new videos that you want us to cover in the future. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the share. And until next time, my friends, keep listening.